Hello to all newly hired teachers in Akadsoft. This evening, I will show you how to use class int. I hope you will find this video useful in your journey to Akadsoft. Good luck! Okay, yeah. Andito na po ako sa class in. Okay, nakita niyo na andito ang camera ko. Okay, pag nasa class in na kayo, ilagay niyo lang ang camera here at the right side. Okay, and the camera of your student here below. Okay. So, what is the lesson of your student? So, you will click cloud disk. Okay, after clicking cloud disk, you can see this one, file name, lesson resources, okay, and th this belongs to the menu, authorized resources. Okay, you will click lesson resources, and then you can find the lesson of your student, okay? So, just select the PowerPoint presentation. You can see there, 4AU3L3 review.pptx. Okay, select. Review PPTX. Okay, ito na po. Okay, lakihan mo yung window ng student mo para makita niya ng maigi. Okay, this will be the lesson of my student tomorrow, my first student tomorrow. Uh, her lesson will be Unit 3, Lesson 3, Grammar Review. Okay, ito po ang lesson ng All Together 4A. Okay, how will you use class in? Okay, you can see here this one. Uh, this is a course or okay, you will use this in playing audio. Okay, audio recorded file or audio recorded tape. Okay, and the next is course or okay, just like a course or or a mouse. You can you will use this one in moving the window. You will use this one in Moving the window smaller, okay, bigger, and also moving your camera, okay, just like that. So you will use this one. The second, the second option that is called select and move, or you can also use Control M, okay. You can click this one, or you will use Control Control M, okay. This one, Control M. Okay, for example, andito ako sa first menu, so you will use Control M. Okay, you can see, nag-transfer na dito. Okay, so this one also, you can use Control G. Okay, you can see here, click Control G, so mag-transfer na dyan. So ito, ito ang pen, so you can make uh, is a pen or paint brush and a shortcut for that is control p pag mag control p ka yan nalabas na ang pen here you can see different colors okay parang pangit yung camera ko okay you can see different colors in this paint brush you can use white okay you can see white uh -huh. So you can change also the the boldness of this pen or your paint press. Okay, just like that. You can use that one. Okay, you can use other color, gray. What else? Okay, this is Alt E. Black. Oh, it's gray. Darker, dark gray. The black is Alt R. The red is Alt A, orange Alt S, yellow Alt D, green Alt F, light blue Alt Z, blue. Oh, what is this? Royal blue Alt X, purple Alt C, pink Alt V. Okay, those are the shortcuts for the pen. Okay, you can. Uh, this one is a freestyle pen, just like that. You can use it. Okay, I will choose red. Okay, I usually use the red pen uh, during my class. And this one, the second one, alt number two. This is alt number one. 
for alt number two, you will use it in making underline. Oh, no, yes, we will click alt number two. Okay, underline. A straight line. Okay, you can see that is a straight line. The next is a circle. You can click alt three. So you can have circle already. You will circle to emphasize your lesson. Okay, for example, okay, you will have, okay, for example, you will say your student, okay, please read this word. Okay, so you can, you can also move the circle just like that. Okay, then next for the text, you can have, you can click the shortcut control, control T. Okay, that's control T. You can see it transferred here in letter T. So the font starting from 10, Alt 1, 14, Alt 2, 18, Alt 3, Alt 4, uh, the font is 24. And you can see also different colors here. There, there are only 3, 6, 9, 12 different colors. Okay, you can just change the colors 12 times. Okay, we can use blue. Okay, another function for pen is making box. Okay, you will box your lesson to still emphasize your, your the text. Okay, you will say, okay, can you read this one? Uh, so you will emphasize uh, the, the text by using the, the box. Okay, the next is Control alt x or the screenshot. Okay, you will do a screenshot. Okay, for example, okay, I will do a screenshot, Control alt x Okay, so let's show you how to use screenshots. Okay, here you can do a shortcut, Control alt x Control alt x and then you can make a screenshot. Okay, next is this one, the teaching tools. Okay, the teaching tools has this one, image, opening image, load image, load board file. Okay, example of board file is this one. Oh, let's open board file, okay. Okay, maybe we, I will show you this one. Okay, here is a board file. Okay, I will let you see. We will use another one. I will delete that first. Okay, let's open another board file. Okay, let us see what's this. Okay, this is a board file. Okay, another is, uh, this is save, save board file. You can save this board file. You can make your board file too. And desktop sharing timer. Okay, this is really useful in having a game. Okay, you will use a timer. Okay, now there is the dice. I always use this one during the enhancement activities. Okay, now there is, okay, what else? Okay, you will not use the other functions here. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you, uh, this is very useful in starting your career in Akadso. Thank you for watching. Bye.